Kristen here from Scooter Bug Corner and I am sharing a, another journal that I have completed. This is a sewing themed journal and this is a very eclectic journal. <laughs> it has a lot of different things going on in it. Lots of vintage, lots of texture, lots of things. Um, but all in the theme of sewing. This is a like fabric cover. Uh, it is um, designer fabric. It's got the little girl. She's doing all of her sewing and stuff and has all the strawberry um, notions. And so I have some of that on there. Vintage bingo card layered on this. I think this is like netting with this printable, which is from a vintage, I think it was from a vintage um, birthday card, if I recall correctly, on this vintage fabric tie that just comes off and is completely removable. As you can see, there are two uh, signatures pamphlet stitched in. The journal is about six inches wide by uh, just shy of nine inches tall. And as is, the spine is roughly <clears throat> one and a half. And let's get started. It is lined. This is a vintage uh, polyester fabric. Uh, and so here is this. This is a printable. This is from, I think, a scarf uh, that I've layered on top of uh, cardstock. There's just, there's lots of different ruffles and things going on. But this flips up. You can see that all of that is stitched on. And perfect for hidden journaling. Sewing theme printable paper. Uh, this is from a sewing manual. Excuse me. In here I have this is a uh, little strawberry. Makes its own paper clip that can come off. This flips open. There's a coffee dyed index card. More hidden spot. Uh, this is literally a vintage pack of snaps you can see that they were marked at 19 uh, cents in whatever store they came from here's some printables that live in here so i've turned the snap pack into a pocket and i had this in here to hold the flap down okay this is from another sewing binder um i think it was more from the 80s if i recall but it showed you the styles and like the different cuts and things that you would need to make pattern is backing um this piece of paper a scorecard with a lovely retro lady there with this little fabric trim here is more printable this is embossed with buttons I don't know how well you can see. Yeah, there you go. So it's embossed with buttons. Then here there is a printable. And then this is a scrapbook paper that I had and just made this journaling card and backed it with some more sewing manual pages. And here is this flash card that goes across the back to hold that. And this is a mixed media index card that I've made. It lives in there. So here is a um, lace tool on top of a fabric pocket. And here I have, uh, it's empty, but you can do whatever you want with it. But it is a bow embossed vintage envelope. And here is this uh, journaling card that I have made. Tucked it down in here. So here is a tuck spot. Uh, for whatever you want to add into it. It does have more of that button embossed paper in this little cluster that I've made here and that is a uh, little wax seal. Vintage bingo card and I corner punched it to give it a little bit of flair and on the back of it is another pocket so it would be a good place for a little bit of hidden journaling or you could turn it into a flap you could do all kinds of different things with it and it is held in with just this cute little sewing themed um paper clip that i made so on this side up here this is a printable tag it fits in there this is just decorated but then this flips up 
and it is uh, like a little match book style list page. That just goes right back in there. This is a piece of uh, vintage napkin, I think. <laughs> but it's got this crocheted edge still left on here, and I've just created this little spot here. And um, it's just more decorative, uh, but you can journal, you know, around all these things, but I have attached uh, some vintage buttons there. And then there's this page, and on the back I have this pocket here, and this is just, you can do all kinds of different things with this, but, um, and you could even flip it out the other way if you wanted, and um, be easier to journal maybe on that side, but it's the shape of a sewing machine more of that side and then here um this is rescued from a quilt and i've turned this just into tags so you could draw it all on the back and your quilt squares are right there some more sewing manual stuff and this ends with um, a vintage zipper on this ruffle and you can tuck a little bit of something in there all right, start of the next signature. Again, some more vintage snaps on their original packaging. I've turned this into a tuck spot. And then this was, uh, this came, I don't know. I found it in some sewing stuff that I rescued <laughs> from, like, while I'm thrifting slash borderline dumpster diving at the Goodwill bins. And um, it's, it's like a cardboard pattern. So inside this envelope, I have just a bunch of different printables um, that are sewing themed or buttons and things that would match, you know, be good for just adding throughout as you journal and decorate on your own. And just kind of tucks in there. So to kind of gussy up <laughs> the back side of the cardboard, I just kind of did some just general blue swatching and you have this this flip here um, just cute little decoration this is from some other kind of sewing book but I loved the uh, the illustrations here this is this may have been from October afternoon but do not quote me on that I cannot remember but this is vintage um, scrapbooking stuff or at least themed I cannot recall but anyway here's more um, manual perfect to journal lovely lady here here is a place uh, there's a polka dot tool and just these this is a like a grid graph paper um, index card and added this spool and then here's a printable but it looks like you know a retro sewing pattern with a little fabric tab and on this side this is a printable but it's serving as a little tuck spot here and then I just have a tag here and it says I made this for you it's a cute little um, stamp for girl sewing some more things from sewing manuals it's uh, lined on this side with some washi tape here I have a, a doily and it's serving as a pocket so this is from the you know tracing uh, pattern paper I've kind of made a little flower here and then this lady is cut out and tucked in there but you could tuck all kinds of other things lots of tags and things would fit in there but right now she's living in there here is a vertical belly band stitch with a button center of this uh, signature and over here this is a tuck spot so you can get in there these are uh, vintage buttons but this also unties and if my fingers will work on camera it opens up and here is just some more uh, like hidden journaling spot so secret journaling that you know somebody with nimble fingers has to <laughs> to get into it but anyway haha -ha. and then, then this is vintage um lace here's the other side of that doily uh these are printables good for journaling here i've made this little tab this says stitch and has this little pearl pearl bow charm 
Here's another tuck spot. And here is the other side of where that tool fabric was. That's a printable one. And this one is some of like the pattern layered on the cardstock with just some, you know, cutouts and things that have just made this that little journaling spot. All right, this is paper clipped in with a clip. It says so that I made. And this is a tuck spot here. Mixed media tag. Lots of fun things going on here with my lady. <laughs> and this folds open. And then this is a card. So then you can have more um, secret journaling spots. And that is why that clip is there. All right, back of that. Here is a tuck spot. And then this is a pretty um, all about it <laughs> journaling card. So, but it is sewn in. This is attached. So it says so fun. There's all these just layers and all these just things happening here. But it also flips open. And so then you can see more of this. You can journal. You can add whatever you want on the back of that. Um, but yeah, so that flips open. That's the reason that that is there. And then the back side of one of those other manuals still with fun graphics. And then the back of this has this embossed, uh, like, almost mini journal that I've added. And it just has all these fun um, colors. And it's like a mini journal. And it lives in the back. And then here's this top pocket tuck. It's just kind of got a whole lot of things going on. There's printables stuff from manuals and magazines and things like that and there is this tuck spot um or i have this journaling card up in that tuck spot and so that is the end of that one so uh very eclectic this one has lots of real cool vintage uh things you know incorporated in to the journal uh, let me know what your favorite part of it was I think she's fun. She's cute. She's here. She's sewing. So until the next time, I hope you have a great day.